national award-winning interior designer, Patricia Davis Brown. And I'm speaking to you for eHow.com. And today we're gonna to talk about how to make a closet pant rack. Um, what I like to do uh, in a situation where we've got a small closet is to try to find optimal ways to do a lot of storage. Pants being one of those uh, things that I think are difficult to store correctly. And this helps, this design that I've come up with is good for men and women. So let's take a look. If we open this up, this is nothing more than a drawer glide. And what I've done is I've taken an inch and a half dowel and you definitely need to stay with an inch and a half dowel so that when the pants go over it, it doesn't crease. You cut out the bottom of the drawer and you place the male-female connections that the dowel sit down in comfortably. And then it's a great way to store three pants across with four dowels deep, and that gives you in a 30 inch drawer, you're able to store 12 pants. In this particular closet, I've got a quantity of 48 pants and a lineal footage of five feet stored here. And if you're talking denims and you're not that worried about wrinkling, you can even get more. So it's a really clever way. Now, another thing that's important to, to note is you want to use the full extension drawer glides. If you didn't have that, you wouldn't be able to completely access all your pants or probably not even see them all the way. So it's very important that you use a full extension glide. Another really nice touch that I like is the soft close drawers. Um, whoops, the soft, you can see it closes by itself. Those are quite nice. Um, you can add a handle to it if you want to decorate it. It's not necessary. You can really reach in and pull them out, but you can if you'd like, and it adds a little personality to it. Um, so this is a little tip on how to make a closet pant rack. And I hope you visit my blog, digthisdesign.net, for other do-it-yourself tips.